Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, pro wrestling fans from all over the world of all shapes and sizes. Welcome to another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. So, wanted to get on here and talk about a couple of things. First off, going to go over the revealed bracket for the Stardom Cinderella Tournament 2024. The bracket is now live, so I'm going to go over the bracket. going to do some more bracketology. Next, I'm going to go over the current standings of the Pro Wrestling Noah Victory Challenge Tag League. So, I'm going to go over the current results for that. And then I'm going to finish off giving my preview of AEW Revolution, which is going to be in my home state of North Carolina. So, which one I will be attending live. So, Definitely looking forward to that. I'm going to preview the card for that and give my predictions. Okay, let's get started with World Wonder Ring Stardom. As the Cinderella Tournament bracket is now live, let's go over it. Here we go. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, your 2024 Cinderella Tournament bracket. Okay, now first off, before I go over the matchups, let's look at the dates. So, the entire first round will be completed on March 9th. That is, I believe, next Saturday? Yeah, next Saturday. So next Saturday is when the tournament begins. They'll go through the whole first round. Okay, on March 10th and March 16th will be the second round. So on March, March 10th and March 16th is where they'll do the entire second round. March 17th will be the quarterfinals. And then March 20th will be the semifinals and finals. So that's the, that's the breakdown of when they're going to do the matches. Um, let's see. Okay, let's actually go over the matchups. So we're going to start from the left and go all the way to the right. All right, here we go. So we have Hanan versus Hanako. So stars is Hanan and EXV's Hanako. And then the winner of that matchup will face Mirai in the second round. Um, I am thinking that it's going to be Hanan that wins that match and moves on to face Mirai. But yeah, winner of that will face Mirai. And I think it's going to be Hanan. All right, next up, ooh, this ought to be really good. We got Oedo Tai's Starlight Kid versus Stars Yuzuki, our Rookie of Stardom 2024. That should be really good. That should be a really good matchup. Um, I think it'll be a good test for Yuzuki, but I just don't quite see, see her defeating Starlight Kid, unfortunately. But who knows? She might be able to pull off an upset. Who knows? But the winner of that match will face Suzu Suzuki in the second round. I'm going to I'm gonna say Starlight Kid, but I would be really, really happy if Yuzuki defeated Starlight Kid. I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be really cool. All right. Next up. Oh, this is interesting. So we got... Zena from EXV taking on Star's returning Momokogo. And then the winner of that matchup will go on to face EXV's Wakasukiyama in the second round. Uh, I really truly feel like Momokogo 
will will pick up the victory in her return. I would honestly, I would love to see her win this tournament with the type of promo she gave at the press conference. Like, I think it'd be cool if she ended up winning, but it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough for her. But I think she should at least win one match, if not two. And looking at her path, if she can get past Zena, then honestly, she has a good chance to defeat Waka and make it to the quarterfinals. So, we'll see. But I'm gonna I'm going for Momokogo to pick up the victory. Although Zena, it's gonna be tough because Zena is strong. But I'm gonna go with, with my Peach Star Momokogo to win this matchup. Okay, next up we got ooh, the high speed genius Koguma from Stars taking on Ruoka of Oedo Tai. And the winner of that matchup will face Hazuki in the second round. Um honestly, I got a feeling that it's it's gonna set up Koguma versus Hazuki. So I, I'm gonna say Koguma picks up the victory and she'll face Hazuki. Yeah, that that's honestly what I feel will happen. But should be good. Should be good. Okay, next up, ooh, this is a very intriguing matchup. We got God's Eyes Saki Kashima taking on Star's Saya Ida. And the winner of that match will face Mei Sara, the high speed champion in the second round. Um this could honestly go either way. Um Saya Ida I mean, since her and Hanan have been a very strong tag team, they're the current New Blood tag team champs. Sayaida's been on the rise, and, you know, Saki Kashima's a former high speed champ, and she's been kind of a coward since joining uh, God's Eye. But I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I think Sayaida makes more sense. But Saki Kashima has that Kishikaise. One of the most deadliest pins in stardom. So, I'm going to say Saya Ida advances, but Saki Kashima could pull, pull a fast one. Very possible. All right. Next up. Oh, now this this looks, looks interesting. This could go either way. You got Yuna Mizumori from Cosmic Angels versus Lady C from Queen's Quest. And the winner of that matchup takes on God's Eyes Ami Sore. Uh, to be honest, this match could go either way. It could go either way. You, you normally don't see Yuna Mizumori in a lot of singles matches. Uh, Lady C, she's in them quite often. So... To be honest, I could see I could see them going either way with this. I'm gonna say Lady C. I'm gonna say Lady C, just a wild guess. But I don't see either of them getting past Ami Sore. So that's that's just me. Alright. Next up, we got oh, this oh. This might be one sided. We got Cosmic Angel Sayaka Kurara taking on the leader of Oedo Tai, Natsuko Tora. And the winner of this match will go on to face Queen's Quest Azumi in the second round. Uh, yeah. Tor Tora's taking that. I really don't see Sayaka winning that. I mean, just to keep it real. I just, I don't see it happening. And then the last first round matchup we have is Queen's Quest Miyu Amasaki taking on God's Eyes Rana Yagami. And the winner of this match will take on Mai Sakurai in the second round. Um, I think it's going to be Miyu. I think Miyu Amasaki takes this one. Yeah, I think, I think she definitely takes this one. But these are some very intriguing matchups for the Cinderella tournament. 
And as I said before, uh, the winner gets to wear the dress, the tiara, the slippers, and gets granted one wish. Typically, it's usually a title shot. Lately, it's been for the white belt. But, you know, they could do it for the red belt or any other belt. You know, it's just typically it's either the red belt or the white belt. But according to the rules, it's one wish. You get one wish. So we'll see what happens. But definitely looking forward to the tournament. Like I said, first round starts March 9th. So definitely looking forward to that. Should be good. Should be really good. And speaking of which, uh, a couple of more stardom news, which I thought was really interesting. So, we now know that Natsupoi, Natsupoi will return March 9th. Even though she's not in the Cinderella tournament, she will make her return match March 9th, and you won't believe what the matchup is going to be. Check this out. That's right. It's going to be in the form of a tag team match, as it will be former Goddess of Stardom tag team champions, Sari Ano and Natsupoi, and they'll be taking on the team of Sari and Big Hosh, Shihiro Hashimoto. So we are finally going to get Sari in this stardom ring. It's amazing. It's awesome. It's incredible. And who knows? This might eventually open the door for Mayu Iwatani versus Sari. The match that was supposed to happen long time ago but sari ended up going to wwe and there was and i believe there was also um another issue as well I, d I don't remember exactly what it was but yeah we were supposed to get that matchup never happened so it looks like it may finally happen we'll see but this is a big test for natsupoi big test in her return match Big Hosh and Sari. Woo! Huh, welcome back, Natsupoi. That's all I can say. But that will be uh, March 9th. Um, the following day, or actually, there's a couple of more matches. Uh, we now know... We now know who Rena's next challenger for the Future of Stardom Championship is. And it is in the form of Diana's Mirine. That's right. Mirine will get her shot at the Future of Stardom Championship on March 9th. So we'll see how it goes. It's been a while since I've seen her wrestle. But yeah, she's part of the women's uh, pro wrestling uh, Diana promotion. But yeah, so it'll be good to, good to see her in action again. Um, let's see. And we got another, another piece of good news as well. Guess who is also making her return this time on March 10th? Oh yeah, Aya Sakura finally will be making her return to the ring for stardom which I believe the last time she wrestled in stardom, I want to say was July, June or July of last year. So it's been, it's been a long time, but she's cleared to return and compete March 10th. So definitely very excited for that. It's good to see a lot of the ladies returning for injury, returning from injury and getting back into the action. So, this is this is big. This is really really big. Um, let's see. Oh, and there's 
There's one more announcement as well. We now know who Julia's next challenger is for the NJPW Strong Women's Championship. And it is CMLL's own Stephanie Van Cure. That's right. On March 10th, she gets her title shot. Because remember, she was a top contender for this title. So she didn't. She wasn't able to capitalize on her IWGP Women's title opportunity, but she's going to try her hand at the Strong Women's Championship. So we'll see. Maybe she'll have better luck here. And who knows, with Julia's contract ending at the end of March, maybe Stephanie is who she drops the title to. You know? I think it's very possible. I think she's... Honestly, I think she's very capable. I think it's very capable of dethroning Julia. But we'll see. We shall see. Okay. So that's it for my stardom, stardom news and updates. And as it gets closer to the um, opening day for the Cinderella tournament, I'll go into uh, the card. <coughs> okay. Now let's switch gears to Pro Wrestling Noah. And let's go in and look at the current standings of the Victory Challenge Tag League. Um. We are two, two nights in, so let's look at the current scores, shall we? All right, here we go. All right. So, starting from the bottom, we have one team sitting with zero points with a record of 0-2, and, and that is is the team of Masaki Tamiya and Daiki Inaba. So, 0-2 with losses to um, Go Shiozaki, Atsushi Kotoke, and Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf. So, not a great start for Masaki Tamiya and Daiki Inaba. But, still got plenty of matches left, but they need to they need to start racking up some wins. All right. We got two teams right now that have one point apiece with records of 0, 1, and 1. And those two teams are Keno and Uawada and Kaito Kiyomiya and Ryohei Oiwa. So let's take a look at Keno and Uawada. So, 0-1-1, one, one. they have the one loss to Manobu Soya, Shuji Kondo, and a draw with Kaito Kiyomiya, Ryohei Oiwa. So, a rough start, but at least they got some points. You know, a point on the board. Uh, for the team of Kaito Kiyomiya and Ryohei Oiwa, they had the one loss to Saxon Huxley, Timothy Thatcher, and the draw with Keno and Yu Awada. So we'll see if they can get going with some wins going forward, but rough start. Alrighty, next up we have three teams sitting at two points with a record of one and one uh, for all three teams. Those teams are Go Shiozaki and Atsushi Kotoge, um, Manobu Soya and Shuji Kondo, and Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf. So let's start with Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf. So they're one and one. They got a victory over Masakita Mia, Daiki Inaba, 
but the one loss to Saxon Huxley, Timothy Thatcher. And then, let's see, Manobu Soya, Suji Kondo, they are also one and one. They have the victory over Keno and Yu Iwata, but a loss to Takashi Sugira and Oka Sazaki. And then the team of Goshiozaki Atsushi Kotoke, who are also one and one. They got a victory over Masaki Tamiya, Daiki Inaba, but a loss to Takashi Sugira and Oka Sasaki. And so those are your three teams that are tied at two points. And then right now, sitting at the top, we got two teams that are four that have four points each with undefeated records of 2-0, and oh, and those teams are Takashi Sugira and Oka Sasaki and Saxon Huxley and Timothy Thatcher. So let's look at Huxley and Thatcher. Like I said, 2-0. and oh, They got victories over Kaito Kiyomiya, Ryohei Uaiwa, and Dragon Bane Alpha Wolf. So they're off to a hot, strong start. But so are... Uh, Takashi Sugera and Oka Sasaki. They have their two victories over Goshiozaki Atsushi Kotoke and Manobu Soya Shuji Kondo. Now remember, it's the top two teams that will go on to the finals. So right now, Saxon Huxley and Timothy Thatcher and Takashi Sugera and Oka Sasaki are your top two teams currently. But it is still early, still early, and got plenty of matches left. So the next upcoming matches will be on March 2nd and 3rd, so this, this weekend. So let's see what kind of matchups we have. So let's see, March 2nd. Oh, here's one. Uh, Keno and Yu Awada taking on Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf. Okay. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, we got uh, Masaki Tamiya, Daiki Inaba versus Manobu Soya, Shuji Kondo. That should be good. Um, ooh, ooh, the two undefeated teams will go at it. Uh, Takashi Sugera, Oka Sasaki will take on Saxon Huxley, Timothy Thatcher on March 2nd. Um, we got, let's see. Actually, oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. I'm sorry. I read that wrong. So March 2nd at Sax Saxon Huxley, Timothy Thatcher versus Go Shiozaki and Atsushi Kotoge. My, my apologies. So Kaito Kiyomiya, Ryohei Oiwa will take on Takashi Sugera and Oka Sasaki on March 2nd. Okay, I had to make sure I, I got that right. Okay, those are your March 2nd matchups. Let's take a look at March 3rd, because that's the Sunday. Um, Keno and Yuawada versus Masaki Tamiya Daiki Inaba. That should be really good. Uh, let's see. Oh, um, Go Shiozaki Atsushi Kotoge versus Manobu Soya Shuji Kondo. That should be really good. Um, let's see. Uh, looks like Kaito Kiyomiya Ryu, Ryuhei Oiwa takes on Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf on March 3rd. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. So March 3rd. March 3rd is Takashi Sugera at Oka Sasaki versus Saxon Huxley, Timothy Thatcher. So that... That one is uh, March 3rd. And yeah, so those are your March 2nd, March 3rd matchups for this weekend. So, should be good. Should be very exciting. Definitely looking forward to more matches with this tournament. Like I said, tournament season is going strong, especially with the New Japan Cup getting ready to start, Cinderella tournament getting ready to start, Victory Challenge Tag League is already underway, and many others. So, 
Let's continue the hype, shall we? Okay, before we finish off with my preview of AEW Revolution, here's a quick word on the sponsor of this video, Game Beauty. Check them out. As you continue to enjoy content here at Blitzball Champ Gaming, be sure you take a moment to check out Game Beauty. Beauty inspired by gaming. Game Beauty brings to you video game related makeup and cosmetic products. You have products such as eyeshadow palettes, elemental pearl highlighters, eyeshadow brushes, liquid eyeliner pens by Akidaris, and even non-makeup products like graphic tees. They even have special collaboration makeup kits such as this Persona 5 Heat Wave Brush Single, Metaverse Bundle, and even a Phantom Thieves limited edition makeup collection. Also remember that Game Beauty provides international shipping of $60 or more. And if you use the promo code Blitzball Champ all in caps, you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to use that to your advantage. Now, back to your regularly scheduled video. Enjoy, and thank you. All righty, AEW fans. This Sunday, March 3rd, AEW Revolution for 2024, which will take place in my home state of North Carolina. That's right, Greensboro, North Carolina at the Greensboro Coliseum, uh, which is a pretty nice uh, venue, by the way. I've been there a couple of times. But that is the destination for this pay-per-view, which will also be Sting's final match. Final match of his career, as he will be retiring. Regardless of the result, he will re be retiring. But we got quite, a, quite an interesting card overall for the show, and I will be there live for it. So, very excited. But let's go ahead. <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. Um, it, I didn't see anything listed yet for pre-show, so, um, if I don't cover anything with this, I will be sure when come time to do the review that I'll be sure any pre-show matches or whatnot are covered. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this first matchup. We got ourselves an all-star eight-man scramble where apparently the winner gets a future AEW World Championship. Yeah, I believe it's World Championship. Um, the competitors are, you got Chris Jericho, Powerhouse Hobbs, Lance Archer, Wardlow, the FTW champion Hook, Brian Cage, and two unknown competitors. Now, the word is that the two unknown competitors are going to be Dante Martin and Magnus. Magnus, who's, a, I believe, a Mexican wrestler. But, yeah, word is those are the two, are the two um, hidden competitors. Uh, but yeah, 
Winner of this match gets a future AEW World Championship match. Ah, uh, I mean, this is tough. This is tough. Because I don't think it's, well, this is, this is tough. This is really tough. Because it makes me also wonder, since, you know, the AEW World Championship will be on the line in the same pay-per-view, it makes me wonder if based on uh, who wins out of this is really going to give an idea who, of who's going to win the, the world title match. Um. Okay, one, I don't see Dante Martin winning. I don't see Magnus winning. I don't see Hook winning. Uh, Chris Jericho, no. Brian Cage, probably not. To be honest, I think it's either going to be Lance Archer, Powerhouse Hobbs, or Wardlow. I think it's going to be one of those three. But it's hard for me to pick one. It's hard for me to pick one. But I'll just say, I think it's going to be either Wardlow, Powerhouse Hobbs, or Lance Archer. I think it will win that opportunity. But yeah, should be interesting. Should be interesting. Alrighty. Let's look at our next matchup. Oh, this should be interesting. Alrighty, we got ourselves a tag team match. We got North Carolina's own FTR. Which of course, is Cash Wheeler, Dax Harwood. And they'll be taking on Blackpool Combat Clubs, John Moxley and Claudio Casagnoli. Uh, I mean, of course, you know, I'm going to go for the hometown FTR. I mean, they're from North Carolina. So I got a, mm, I think they'll pull off the upset. I could see Claudio getting pinned. I think Claudio could get pinned in this. But I'm going to go for F, for North Carolina's own FTR. Yeah. I just think it's fitting for them to just pull off this upset in their home state of North Carolina. Yeah. Going with FTR. Should be good, though. Should be a very good match. All right. Let's go to our next match. All right. This is for the TNT Championship. As the champion, Christian Cage will defend against Daniel Garcia. Uh, should be an interesting matchup. Uh, but I think Christian Cage will retain. Yeah, I think he'll retain. I just think with him having Kill Switch and Nick Wayne and uh, Nick Wayne's mom and all that on his side, I, I expect there to be shenanigans. So, I'm going to say Christian Cage retains. Yeah. Okay. This next match has the potential to be match of the whole entire card. Check it out. Oh, yeah. We got ourselves a special singles match. As we're going to have Will Ospreay going one-on-one -on -one with Konosuke Takeshita. And I am very excited about this because this will be my first time seeing Will Ospreay live. So, and I've met, I've met Takeshita before, uh, twice, because um, I've seen him, I've seen him wrestle via DPW twice. So, um, yeah, looking forward to this matchup. 
Uh, I think it could go either way, but I'm going to have to go with Will Ospreay to pick up the victory. But I would not be mad if Takeshita won. But, oh man, I'm looking so forward to this match. I think this match is going to be match of the card. But I'm going Will Ospreay to pick up the win. But it should be really good. Okay. Let's see what we got next. Oh. Okay, we got we got another good one. Check this one out. All righty, we got the Continental Crown Championship on the line in its entirety. As the champion, Eddie Kingston will take on Blackpool Combat Club's American Dragon Brian Danielson. And also, stipulation is if Brian Danielson loses, he must shake Eddie Kingston's hand. Uh, I think for the sake of just that one thing finally happening, I think Eddie Kingston retains. I think Eddie Kingston retains. So, going with Eddie Kingston, and I believe we're going to get a handshake at the end of the match. Or it, or we may not. You never know. But I'm going with Kingston to retain. All right. Let's go on to our next match. Oh. This ought to be really good. We got the AEW International Championship on the line. As the champion, Orange Cassidy defends against Roderick Strong of the Undisputed Kingdom. Uh, I could actually, to be honest with you, I could actually see Roderick Strong winning this. I think there'll be sh some shenanigans but I think Roger Strong ends up winning and becoming the new AEW international champion. I, I, I feel like this is, this is one of uh, a few title changes that, that'll happen. So go Roger Strong to pick up the victory and become the new champ. Alrighty. <clears throat> All right, how about the ladies? Okay, we got the AEW Women's World Championship on the line. As the champion, Timeless Tony Storm defends against the virtuosa Deanna Perrazzo. Now, as much as I would be down for Deanna Perrazzo winning this match, which so far I believe she's been undefeated uh, since signing with AEW. Something tells me there's going to be shenanigans and it's going to lead to Tony Storm retaining the AEW Women's World Championship. I'll be rooting for Deanna Perrazzo, but I got a feeling Tony Storm is going to retain. Yeah, I, th I think. I think she's going to end up retaining. Alrighty. Let's move on to our next match. Here we go. Got the big triple threat match for the AEW World Championship. As we have the champion... Samoa Joe defending against Hangman Adam Page and Swerve Strickland. Okay, here's, here's my thing with this one. I think it's really going to come down between Joe and Swerve. I know this could be a big opportunity for them to go ahead and put the title on Swerve. 
But I don't think Samoa Joe has had it long enough. I don't think he's had it long enough. To be honest, I'd say probably keep the title on Samoa Joe maybe at least until full gear, perhaps. Or maybe until all in. But I just think Samoa Joe, I think he needs to hold this title for just a little while longer. A little longer. So, oh, one second. So, yeah, I'm going to say Samoa Joe retains. But I would be really happy if Swerve won. But I think Samoa Joe needs to keep the title a little longer. I, I think it's still a little too early. But should be a great match. And then finally, what I assume will be the main event, of course, for obvious reasons. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Sting's final match. And it is in the form of a Tornado Tag Team match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. The champions, Sting and Darby Allen, defend against the AEW EVPs, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson of the Younger Bucks. Yes, I'm still going to call them the Young Bucks. I don't care what you say. They're the Young Bucks. I don't care. I'm going to still continue to call them that. Besides, I've met them before. I can call them the Young Bucks. Um, now, we all know that Sting has been undefeated in his AEW career. And while I'm not against the idea of Sting and Darby winning and then he just relinquished, they just relinquished the tag titles... But I think it makes the most sense for the Young Bucks to win, dethrone, Darby, and Sting. And that's the curtain call for Sting. He finally loses in AEW. I, I could see him give, giving the nod to, to the Young Bucks. I, re I really do. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully they give this match plenty of time. For, for this being Sting's last match, I hope they give him plenty of time. Let him do his thing. You know, maybe do a farewell at the end. And, yeah, we go from there. But, definitely looking forward to this. Um, like I said, they might add a, a pre-show match or two. To the card we'll see but um i'll be there watching live so we'll see what happens um i will try my best to do well i probably won't be able to do the review until maybe the following day but we'll see we'll see it depends on what time i get home but we'll see but that'll do it for today's pro wrestling talk. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to Game Beauty. And also, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're at it. Let me know what your thoughts are. First off, what do you think about the Cinderella Tournament 2024 bracket? Um, if you decide to do a bracket, let me know. Who do you think is going to win the Cinderella tournament? Um, it's really hard to say. Like I said, a part of me really wants Momo Kogo to win it. But honestly, with the competitors that are in it, I think it's anybody's anybody's tournament to win. But let me know who do you think will win the Cinderella tournament. Also, let me know your thoughts on the current uh, NOAA Victory Challenge Tag League. Um, what do you think of the matches so far? Who do you think is going to win the Tag League? Um, oh, how do you feel about Natsupoi's return match? 
her teaming with Sari Ano to take on Big Hosh and Sari Sari and a start stardom ring. Let me know your thoughts there. Uh, Stephanie Venture is the next to challenge uh, Julia for the Strong Women's Championship uh, March 10th, the day after the opening day of the Cinderella Tournament. And Rena has her next opponent for the Future Stardom Championship and Women's World Wrestling Diana's Miron. So let me know what y'all's thoughts are on all that. And what are your predictions for AEW Revolution? Would love to hear. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. For another Pro Wrestling Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the YouTube, the Tube. My name is Jason Ingram. Hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day, and I will see y'all in the next video and or live stream. Take care. Peace. Later. Go play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth.